In today's video, we'll take a look at how you can install custom titles, transitions, effects, and generators as plugins in Final Cut Pro. There's three different ways of installing plugins, and we'll go over all three methods today. Also, at the end of this video, I'll show you a little trick you can use to make your most used assets easier to find. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge, and welcome back to my channel. Just a quick reminder, after watching this video, if you found it helpful, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. Also, I'm proud to say this video is brought to you by Envato, an online marketplace for stock video, royalty-free audio, plugins, and so much more. For all three methods we'll take a look at today, I'll be using plugins from Envato, but you can install plugins from other places exactly the same way. Let's head over to Envato's website and download a plugin for this demo. With an Envato account, as far as plugins go, you have a couple different options. You can purchase individual plugins from the Envato marketplace, or if you sign up for Envato Elements for a low monthly price, you get unlimited downloads of plugins, stock video, royalty-free music, and much more. Let's first grab a plugin from the Envato marketplace and take a look at how to install it in Final Cut Pro. The first one I'll be using today is the Titles, Graphics, and Transitions collection from Vistina TV. With this single plugin, you get over 2,000 assets you can use in your project, including 700 titles, 1,050 motion graphics, and 300 transitions. I use this collection all the time and highly recommend it. After downloading the plugin, unzip the file and open the uncompressed folder. The first thing you should do is, if there is one, read the help document. These will usually have installation instructions, any additional things you need to download like fonts, frequently asked questions, and more. The main thing you're looking for here is the installation destinations. In other words, where you need to install the included folders. First, let's take a look at the easiest way of installing plugins in Final Cut Pro. If you have Apple's Motion 5, plugin installation is very simple. Press Command N to open a new Finder window and Shift Command H to go to your home folder. Locate the Movies folder and open it up. Inside here, you'll see a Motion Templates folder, and inside this folder, you'll see four or five more folders. This is where our custom effects, generators, titles, and transitions live. Now, let's go back to the help document to make sure we place our files in the right folders. As you can see, the FCP Titles, Graphics, and Icons collection go in the Titles folder, and the FCP Transitions collection goes in the Transitions folder. Pretty self-explanatory, but to function properly, you have to make sure you put these in the right place. Command click the FCP Titles, FCP Graphics, and the FCP Icons folders, and press Command C to copy them. In your Motion Templates folder, open the Titles folder, and press Command V to paste the selected folders into this location. Copy the FCP Transition Collection folder, and paste it into the Transitions folder in Motion Templates. That's all you have to do. Close your Finder windows and restart Final Cut Pro. Next time you open it up, your new plugins will be there, ready for use. Next, let's take a look at how to install plugins if you don't have Motion 5. Let's grab another plugin, this time from Envato Elements. For this demo, let's use this transition pack with 18 glitch and vector transitions. Once again, after downloading, unzip the file. This pack doesn't come with a help document, but we can safely guess we have to install these in the Transitions folder. But if you don't have Motion 5, when you open your Movies folder, there's a good chance you won't have a Motion Templates folder in there. You have to make your own. Press Shift-Command-N to make a new folder and name it Motion Templates. It has to be spelled exactly like this. This next step is very important. For Final Cut Pro to recognize this folder, it has to have the proper extension. Right-click on your new folder and select Get Info. In the pop-up, open the name and extension drop-down and add a .localize extension at the end of Motion Templates. Once again, spelling is very important. Hit Enter and close the Get Info window. Open your Motion Templates folder and inside here, make four more new folders. Name them Titles, Transitions, Effects, and Generators. These have to be spelled exactly like you see on screen. Right-click on each one of these folders, select Get Info, and add a .localize extension to each folder. We're now ready to install our plugins. 
Go back to your plugin folder, command click all the included folders, and copy and paste them into your transitions folder in Motion Templates. Close your Finder window and restart Final Cut Pro. Installing plugins using one of these two methods will work majority of the time. But just in case it doesn't, there is one more way to install plugins in Final Cut Pro. Let's go back to Envato Elements and grab one more plugin to try. This time, let's try the 40 Background Themes plugin. Download your file, unzip it, and open up the help document. First thing you need to do is figure out what type of plugin this is. In the installation instructions, you can see this is a generator plugin, so it'll have to go into your generators folder. Press Command N to open a new Finder window, and Shift Command A to go to your Applications folder. Locate Final Cut Pro, right click on it, and select Show Package Contents. Select Contents, Plugins, Media Providers, Motion Effect, Contents, Resources, and Templates. Since the plugin we're trying to install is a generator plugin, open up the Generators folder and copy and paste the Mix Background Scenes FCPX folder into this location. Since this is inside Final Cut Pro's package contents, you'll need to give Finder permission to paste into this folder. Close your Finder windows and restart Final Cut Pro. Now, when you open up your Generators browser, you'll have 40 new background scene generators to use in your next project. If you're still here, I have a little bonus tip that can save you a ton of time. Let's go back to the first plugin we installed today, the Titles, Graphics, and Transitions collection from Vistina TV. This plugin comes with over 2,000 assets, which is awesome, but with this many to choose from, finding what you need could be a little bit hard. If you have a title, a graphic, or a transition you like and want to use in a different project, you can save it in a different location to make it easier to find. You do need Motion 5 for this. Select the element you want to be easier to find, right-click on it, and select Open in Motion. Next, from the menu bar, select File and Save As. Give it a custom name, open the Category drop-down, and select New Category. Give it a name you'll recognize and click the Create button. If you're going to have a number of elements in this category, you can also organize them by themes. For this demo, let's just select None and publish it to Final Cut Pro. Now, when you need to use this title, instead of searching through all your titles for this, you can just select your new category, and the element you need is right there, ready for use. Trust me, this will save you a ton of time, especially if you download one of the bigger plugins available from Envato or anywhere else. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I post new Final Cut Pro tutorials every week. And a huge thank you to Envato for sponsoring this video and helping us make better videos with custom plugins, stock footage, royalty-free audio, and more. If you make YouTube videos, Envato Elements is a must-have subscription. It'll save you time, money, and most important of all, help you make better videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you back here next week.